what's up guys so next installment of what's going on with Felix so as I said before in uh, the van video uh, there's a few bits and pieces that's gone on so with Felix at the moment I have uh, knocked in the cam uh, and I've taken for a bit of a uh, roadmap um, and she's now running really powerfully and uh, she's running quite sweet so I've dropped the oil after I did all that and the Valvoline is in and um, she's running quite well so I was trying to get her whilst all this was going on Trying to get to, um, should we say, a show standard again. So there's a part um, just next to the A panel, just here, where there was previously a lot of kind of wet sanding marks where something's actually got into uh, the sandpaper and it, uh, it started to swirl a bit. So I've been working at that with about two and a half thousand grit sandpaper um, and quite an abrasive um, cutting pad and one of, uh, Maguire's 105. Um, I'll put a picture up here of what actually happened. Yeah, I burned through the paint. So it was absolutely gutted, completely stopped, heart sank. Um, it's the first time it's uh, happened to me um, whilst machine polishing ready for shows. Um, absolutely gutted, as you can probably uh, imagine. So my mate Dean, um, and I'll put his link um, in the description below, but here he is um, working on the car for me. Uh, and he's done the, the A panel for me, and the match is absolutely brilliant. So I'll spin it round and I'll show you a bit more. So I said, Dean's done the, uh, done the spraying and the match is absolutely spot on. I'm really pleased with that. And the shine is exactly what it needs to be. So a few bits and pieces. I need to go and put the stripe in. I've got some more of that at the moment. Um, and I need to machine polish up here. So you can probably see some of the orange peel on this one. I've got a lot of it out of the front. Um, I'm really, really pleased with that. It's just here, when the light catches it, it's slightly faded where the uh, the buffer just hasn't got up into the corner. So I'll be doing that today. Once that's done, um, I'll be putting the wheel lights back on. It's up there at the moment. Uh, what I've done around with the uh, the bottom as well, um, I took the the, stri the finishing strip off um, and I cleaned it up because there's a lot of, um, lot of gunk in there. And for those of you who remember the IMM mud, uh, fiasco. I'd still got some in here. So I took this all off, cleaned it and cleaned underneath. And as I did, um, using some of the blue roll, I noticed there was rust. Um, looking underneath, um, kind of going right up underneath here, um, it started to rust where the where it's been spot welded. So I ground it all off, back to bare metal. Um, I treated it with a bit of cure rust. Um, I did that over a space of about 12 hours. Uh, so it was fully in. Um, repainted it with the, the spare red that I'd got uh, and then this has actually been filled with uh, Dynax S well, actually it's Dynax UC so this stuff's absolutely brilliant I've um, highlighted it in the, one of the van videos um, but this stuff comes out clear um, it usually comes with a 12 inch lance but I've cut them down to about 5 inches at the moment so I can actually get them directly into, into areas um, a bit better and a bit neater so that's in the inside of that. I put it all on and I just left it to dry. So hopefully that'll uh, hold, hold a bit of longevity for it. Uh, a few other bits and pieces uh, that need to be do, uh, done at the moment, but mainly the machine polishing has been, been sorted. It's, uh, it's covered with marks and machine polishing um, residue all over the place. So she does need, a, uh, does need a wash again. On the inside... I've got a handbrake gator that's going on, that's from Newton Commercial, so I'll get to that as well. Um, my door cards, unfortunately, as though they look very, very nice on the outside, on the inside of them, um, the water's got into them. Um, I haven't got a membrane behind these, I've only got a bit of tape. Um, so on the other side of these, it, they've gone pretty rotten, um, and they're not sitting uh, as well as I'd want them to. Uh, so these are coming off, and I've got a new set from Newton Commercial. I mean, John, who did make these, uh, did say that I needed to put a uh, membrane behind them. Um, but he is a very busy man at the moment. So if you are looking for an interior, um, especially the Cooper Sport ones, he doesn't do the steering wheels, but he does the seats. Uh, look, look up John at uh, JCS Custom Trims. I'll put a link in the uh, description below as well for him. Um, the lad knows what he's doing, and he's very, very good. Um, the Newton commercial ones, I got the mud less steel to be honest with you, so I'm putting those on um, and I'll, uh, I'll update as we go along. So yeah, let's get back to the machine polishing and get that wheel arch back on. Method to my madness, I use a small holder uh, with a large pad. The main reason is I can actually get in 
and let it bend a bit more to get in there. I don't want to force or needlessly force uh, it in there. I've got to be very, very careful um, of making sure I get too, don't get too close to the paint. But essentially, I'm using those ends. You can probably just about see them here where well, I just need to get. So uh, hopefully my method should work. If not, Dean, you're coming back and redoing it. First pass, and I hope you'll agree, that's done a smashing job. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, markings on here before anyone comments, that is from when I machine polished it and I didn't uh, didn't actually clean the, uh, the area. So yes, I do need to do that as well. Um, there's a lot of dust, as you can see on it. So next is to get the stripe on. Every day we escape Losing all of our faith We can't live this way Feel me slowly fade away Feel me slowly fade away As far as the wind will take me Every day I feel time slipping have it one wheel arch back on and saved cool so on to the door cards and in true bad obsession motorsport style time to put the kettle on And this is why I hate these clips. They just break. The rest of them came off all right. But you can see what I've done with the tape um, as an interim, but this will then have the, uh, the new piece all over it. So I'm gonna work on these for a bit. So driver's side door card. What I've done is put some double-sided tape across to hold the, uh, the membrane on. I know a lot of people attach this to the door first. Um, I'm doing it this way um, because I want to. Um, there's enough tape on the other side of the door to hold off a lot of the water anyway but this is just uh, an extra bit. I've had to trim it slightly because it falls over the top and um, also trimmed it right across the top because when this goes into the door itself um, it's very very um, tight so I don't want any more on there. Um, all the clips are on the outside off so they're all sealing in so yeah hopefully that'll go on quite nicely now. Apologies for the lack of time lapse on this one, I just wanted to get on with it. Um, so that's gone on pretty well, actually. I broke a couple of clips, um, as you saw. Um, I've binned them. These are a pain in the arse to try and find the holes. And the other one, what I'm going to do is poke through from the other side, so they can actually be seen. These, um, there's no guidance on this side, but there's holes in the wood on the other one. I just need some of the plastic surround there. I've got them on the other one. Um, however, the way in which I made these door cards fit, they actually use bracings, so um, I took these apart. So if anybody's got a set of these in very good condition, uh, hook me up um, on turbocoopersport at gmail.com. Um, that'll be really, really appreciated. So I'm really, really happy with that one. So we we'll get on to the next side. Great little modification to uh, for anybody's handbrake. There's a handbrake gator. These again are from Newton Commercial. we have got Velcro on the back. However, you'll notice I've got Velcro on the front. So to get over this, because trying to remove the handle is nail on impossible without pulling it all apart. My mom, bless her, has sent a bit of Velcro on that side and this tab of length on this side. So 
I can fit it, it'll go over, and then I can Velcro it up, and then I just trim it so you can't see it anymore. Yeah, I'll give that a go. And there we go. You can't see the Velcro underneath, and I've tightened it nicely, so it goes all the way down and up. Really pleased with that. And it almost looks OEM, which is even better. So that kind of matches the, uh, the gator at the front. Make sure it actually is in neutral for when I start it next. Yeah, really happy with those. Again, Newton commercial for those. And that's the driver's side door one. If you are going to do this, what I would suggest is you go and buy a complete set of new clips. Um, you are almost guaranteed to break them. Um, I've got a, a pry tool, um, a very, very cheap off eBay. Uh, but these do make the life, your life, a lot easier when removing these things because you can get underneath and, and properly pull them out um, rather than a screwdriver because being plastic, it won't damage the paintwork as much. Um, I struggled. It's a bit of, it needs a bit of a clean anyway because I've had to put a, a run of um, silicon across the top just to get this in. Um, I've struggled this side because um, I've got uh, central locking, so there's a screw about here, so I've had to take a bit out of the back of the door card for it to sit over, so it does ever so slightly sit, sit proud, um, and it doesn't quite go in, but uh, I'm going to order some more clips and probably just redo that. Um, but apart from that, it's gone on really, really well. Um, really impressed with the quality of these. Um, but yeah, again, Newton Commercial, uh, worth a look up.